ACT Alliance members have been responding to the needs of Ukrainians displaced by the ongoing war since the first day of the full-scale escalation on February 24, 2022. The Ukraine response has been marked by incredible solidarity and compassion, not just from NGOs, but also from individual families, churches and private initiatives. We saw that in the first days of the war, and we continue to see it in the work of ACT members, not only in Ukraine, but also in Hungary, Moldova, Poland, Romania, the Czech Republic, and Slovakia as part of the Total ACT response. The international humanitarian community mobilized immediately. ACT Alliance members worked together to bring much needed practical, psychological and spiritual support to tens of thousands of the millions of people who had lost everything so abruptly. Our commitment lies in people-led humanitarian assistance. The engagement of faith-based organizations has been extraordinary. More than 40 ACT Alliance members joined forces and partnered with local organizations to ensure they were meeting the needs of the Ukrainian people. We are not just focusing on essential food distribution or cash assistance, but we also focus on the broad needs that people have, including mental health support, legal support and protection, and spiritual counsel. We work in Ukraine and neighboring countries, Hungary, Moldova, Poland and Romania, to ensure nationwide outreach. Our ongoing local presence and nationwide operations ensure our effectiveness. Our humanitarian response is community-based, multi-sectoral and flexible. In Kharkiv, heating and electricity are damaged on a regular basis. Thanks to our members, 525 apartments have been rehabilitated in the Khatil Saltivka quarter, one of the residential areas that was hit hardest at the beginning of the war. Enabling people to return home is the biggest humanitarian need in Kharkiv at the moment. ACT Alliance members have been steadfast in their response to the needs of populations deeply affected by the conflict who are facing profound trauma. Psychological activities are integral to the broader humanitarian response. Ukrainian folk music brings out something very ancient in us. Children get to dive in naturally without any professional training, believes Victoria Titarova, a music teacher involved in the Healthy Childhood Project in Lviv, who swears by the healing effect of Ukrainian folk music on the soul. In a world shaken by conflict and suffering, the role of the church becomes even more important, says Father Gabriel Kazaku, a Romanian Orthodox priest who has been involved in welcoming and supporting the refugees and serving as a bridge between communities. Priests inspire trust and respect and help facilitating relationships at both personal and institutional levels. ACT members have been on the forefront of the Ukraine crisis. The extraordinary courage of the Ukrainian people and their resilience is heartwarming. But what is also heartwarming is the courage of all the humanitarian workers who have delivered and are still delivering aid and hope. Millions of Ukrainian refugees and IDPs have been helped, consoled and welcomed everywhere. The way we moved into action together is uplifting. However, we must not forget that your continuous support is vital in addressing the needs of the displaced Ukrainians and host communities. It is possible and it is necessary.